suppose let's just get started. Hello and welcome back to my channel and to a plan with me. I am very rusty. <laughs> it has been a while since I've done a plan with me or planned in my 7x9 vertical Tilly Journals planner. So um, we're going to muddle through together. I literally don't remember what amount of stickers fits in the boxes. I don't know what like layout I'm going for. I'm really going to make it up as I go along. So <laughs> if you want to watch that, keep watching. <laughs> but um, I'm using this kit for, well, what week is it? It is the 8th to the 14th of November that I'm planning for, which is last week. I thought I would start with a recent week so that I kind of remember something about the week because I have written down memory planning notes for other weeks, but I thought we'd start with an easy one. Um, I have this kit from Murdoch Talks. It's the Begin Again kit. And if you aren't aware, last week was the release of Red Taylor's version and I had to get this kit to commemorate it. So, um, these are the full boxes. This is Shop Nevermind Art and it was like Book Cafe, but Murdoch Talks put like a Taylor Swift spin on it. So on the typewriter it says, and on a Wednesday in a cafe I watched it begin again. This says, loving him was red, like the sign. You've got a girl that looks like Taylor Swift. I don't know how this happened. I think it must have been custom drawn, but like amazing. Um, and then the rest was just like book cafe kind of elements, but it works so well because begin again has those lyrics. On a Wednesday in a cafe I watched it begin again. So this is probably the closest to, I don't know why I just shook it. <laughs> this is the closest to like a Taylor Swift kit that I think we're gonna get. So I'll quickly go through the kit. This video is probably end up, gonna end up being really long. <laughs> But these are the pages. It's my, also my first time planning with a kit from Murdoch Talks. I had to get it shipped over via Stackery. Um, well, Kat's Stackery, she let me use it because I have got one now, but when I bought this, I didn't think I wanted one. And I haven't, I haven't even looked at the kit before now. So, and then I, I've taken the date covers because I have pulled out my character stickers to try and speed this whole process up. Um, and I've also pinched a few icons from the kit. But I'm gonna try and do, oh no, I also have some red foil. Um, can you really see that? Yeah, see it's like the reddest foil I've got. Don't have a great deal of foil that isn't like the core colors. So this is what we're working with. I might use it, I might not. Do I have date colors? Yeah, oh no. I have glitter headers, that's what I meant. So I could use it on those. I'll see how I feel. But I've also tried to pull out icons that have red in them. Some of them I've, I've not managed to get in like red. But that is what I've tried to do to sort of bring it all together, make it cohesive. And I didn't put this much thought into planning when I planned more. So <laughs> I'm, I'm hopeful it's gonna uh, all come together. But there isn't actually that much red in the kit. It's kind of like a burgundy. Um, I mean, my nails are like a true red, like a blood red, I guess. So. That is, I've kind of gone for red in the icons to like pull it in. But anyway, I'm gonna do the base to the best of my ability because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I haven't planned in so long. Um, but I also have written down my notes. So this is what I'm following. But yeah, this is from Sci Studio and it's the weekly balance pad. But yeah, I'm gonna speed up my base and we'll see where I end up. seriously so many boxes in this kit like I pulled out my multicolor uh, album with like multicolor boxes I don't think I'm gonna need any <laughs> there are honestly so many boxes I'm sport for choice but I'm gonna start with my sidebar um 
I didn't pull out stickers because I didn't think about my sidebar, so I'm gonna have to like just grab some. But I didn't really track anything in terms of like weekly uh, habits or anything. I, I know I've done my evening routine, so I can put that in there, but I haven't got like a Monday to Sunday, anything I can write. So I put loads of full boxes in and I'm gonna write just like highlights of the week. So I'm gonna put that it was a red Taylor's version. I'm gonna use a red one ton in a million sticker um, because it's just kind of fitting, isn't it? And I also want to use a sticker tomorrow that I was in London for some of this week. And I've got loads of London stickers from Once More With Love. Like I bought the London sheet when I lived in London and didn't do anything with it. So I have loads of these stickers left that I never used. So I reckon I'm just gonna use the one that says London and like just smack it in the middle. The only thing is it's very blue. So I might just not use that one actually. <laughs> I'll use the telephone box. Oh, yeah. I think the telephone box will be perfect. Also, I'm trying really hard to keep my head out of frame. Sorry if it's not. So, moving on to Monday. This is like a little hack that I saw Rhyma Plans do. She uses the date cover sticker to like separate the stickers in the reusable album sheet and then sticks it on when she's using it. So, I thought that was really clever. <laughs> So Monday I was still in London and we started off with a McDonald's breakfast which I am going to mark with a little label. I have no idea what size I ought to be using. We're going to, oh I should have used a much bigger sticker because my emoti is quite a lot bigger. Luckily this paper is removable. I don't remember even checking when I bought this kit. My phone has just told me that I need to go to bed soon. I'm filming this. <laughs> I asked in my Discord, I have a Discord chat, um, but I was basically like, should I film a plan with me or should I film my advent or my mystery unboxings? Um, and Sophie was like, film your plan with me because you won't want to do it later. And I was like, yes, that's the point. So I'm looking for a sticker for Ikea. We went to Ikea. Jenny came over because she lives in Alderney. Sorry if you watch the vlogs, this is probably like a repeated story. But um, she came over to come to Ikea because they don't have Ikea in Alderney. Alderney, I always say it wrong, it's Alderney. <laughs> I hate that I say it wrong. Um, but they don't have Ikea there, which was like really bizarre news to me, but it's such a small island, so I'm not sure I'm surprised. So she came over to buy things um, and then shipped them back. And I went down to London to help her with it because to be fair, it would have been a lot to like carry if you were on your own, because um, she rented a van and everything. So this was the second day. We actually went to Ikea on the Sunday as well. And then after we'd been to Ikea, we then stopped in the parking, I almost said parking lot, but I'm English and we don't say parking lot. We stopped in the car park and had to like unload the van and reload everything, because we'd also been doing Facebook Marketplace pickups and just shoving stuff in the back of the van as we got it because we had quite a tight schedule with all that. So this was the first chance we had to just like stop for a minute, unload everything and put it back in because we weren't using the space efficiently at all. So that's what that sticker's for. It's a perfect sticker, like it's a van. I love when you get to use such specific stickers. <laughs> so later in the day, Jenny took me for afternoon tea and I've never been for afternoon tea before, but it was like a thank you for helping her, which was really sweet of her. We went to, I think it was a hundred Queen's Gate in Chelsea and it was lovely. Um, the place was called like Botanica or Botanical something. It was like really floral and beautiful, it was amazing. I would really recommend it, it was lovely. And then, so, <laughs> this, is, this is a story in itself. We were supposed to be going to like a studio recording of a comedy on Channel 4 called Complaints Welcome because Jenny had applied for tickets and she got them. And we were like, okay, like we'll go. We don't know what it's gonna be like. The reviews weren't great, but we'll give it a go, like what have we got to lose? So we got there after our afternoon tea and they were like, oh, we're really sorry, but we are actually very full and we're not sure you're, you're fit. So they gave us like overflow tickets, which basically meant like, if we can fit you in, we'll fit you in, but if we can't, we can't, which was okay to be honest, um, because we weren't really feeling it. And we'd seen <laughs> that around the corner, Tim Minchin was playing at the Apollo, 
like the Hammersmith Apollo. So we were like, well, if we don't get in, we can just go to that. And then we didn't get in, so we went to that <laughs> and it was really good. Um, so I used the top hat to mark the studio like fail that we didn't get in. And then I used a Club Gemini popcorn sticker to mark the Tim Minchin show. So I'm gonna write everything in and move on to Tuesday. I'll be honest, I'm not really feeling the blue Ikea sticker, but like, what can we do now? <laughs> so moving on to Tuesday, <laughs> let me grab my date cover. Tuesday was, ah, my reusable album got stuck to me. Um, Tuesday was the day that I came home, so like back to work and stuff. I had my train at 11.02, which I wanted to mark with something. Quite a lot to mark this day, so I'm gonna try and use smaller stickers. Although I suppose if I went out of space, I just don't write it, so it's not the end of the world. So I had my train at 11.02. But I also like wandered around Oxford Street first because I was going to be quite early. Basically, Jenny had to get back to the shipping container for a certain time. So she dropped me off and I had like two hours to kill. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to have a wander around Oxford Street. And then I got there and nothing was open because I was there that early. So I've got this Once More With Love bus to mark that. So I ended up just going back to the station and I got a Starbucks. So I'm marking that with this Christmassy Once More of Love cup. Um, I can't remember, I think I had a toffee nut latte, but I did buy the toffee nut syrup, which was nice because I can make them at home. And then when I got home, I did some mystery work, I think. So my SD card was full and I didn't realise and now we have missed like a day and a half. It is actually the next day because I've had to order a new SD card. I ordered two of these because I couldn't delete the footage that I had on that SD card. I didn't have anywhere to move it. There was no room on my laptop or my computer. So I just had to wait <laughs> until I could get a new SD card and now we're filming on the new one. So apologies for the uh, disruption, but I will quickly go through what we did on Tuesday and Wednesday. In this time, I've also like ruined one of my nails. <laughs> I've lost the gel on my middle finger, but I haven't broken the nail, I think, so hopefully we're okay. But yes, let's go through Tuesday. <laughs> I'm sorry if I repeat myself, I'm not sure where it cut out, but I went to Oxford Street and all the shops were not open yet because they open at 10 and I went there before 10. So I just went to the train station where I picked up a Starbucks and then I took my train, but I put that first. Then when I got home, I did some mystery work. I set up my filming desk. I tidied my office. And then in the evening, we watched some Dexter New Blood, which was really exciting because I've been waiting for the new season for years. Um, we did rewatch like the original Dexter because Tom hadn't seen it. So that was fun to go through that again. And I've forgotten like most of the major plot points. So it kind of felt like watching my favorite show again, which is not something you really ever get to experience. So that was fun. So these two stickers are Once More of Love. This one is Once More of Love. And so is this one. This one is Coffee Monsters Co. This is Fox and Cactus. And then the rat is Club Gemini. Moving on to Wednesday, I had my sing lesson at 10, then I designed the new monthly kit. I had to fix my label dispenser, and then I got a new mount for my filming desk, so I finished setting that up. I watered my plants, which were very much in need <laughs> of being watered. Now that it's colder outside, we have the heating on more, I feel like they're getting dehydrated. And then I washed my hair. So this sticker was once more of love. Club Gemini, these two were Coffee Monsters Co, uh, Fox and Cactus, and then this came in the kit. So, let's move on to the second half. It's the next day and I'm like completely out of the flow of what I was doing last night, but we'll muddle through. So on Thursday, I wanted to mark that it was the bin day. It was recycling day for us. We have two bins and it alternates each week which one we have to put out, so... I have to keep on top of it or we will put the wrong bit out and miss our collection. Is that wonky? Kind of. I feel like that's worse, maybe it's fine. <laughs> oh, I do actually have a recycling. Maybe I just put that instead of writing anything because that's a recycling. Is that really lazy? <laughs> I think that's fine, that works, that suits me. I then took my listing photos and I want to use like a half box because I haven't really been using any of them. So this is to mark taking photos. I've got a munchkin taking photos and a script from my shop that says take photos. 
I need to pull some scripts out because that's one thing I haven't really done for this video. It will probably save me a lot of time, especially on Wednesday. So I might actually do that next week. I cut the mystery and I've got a Pumpkin Paper Co sticker for this. So I think I might lay it over some washi. Um, I need like a smaller piece. I am really enjoying using this kit. I always struggle with like new to me kits, like the format, but I'm actually not finding this too bad. Maybe I'll just use the pink. Especially because I've not planned it in a while. I think I am not doing as badly as I expected. There we go. And then the cutting sticker on top. So that was cutting mystery. I've got a fox and cactus guinea pig on a laptop to mark doing the listings. There's a dark box, I think. Actually, I'll put it to the bottom because I want to mark that I packed orders, but I don't know how big the gap will be. Pretty big. I don't really have a lot to mark on this day. I guess another like rounded half box. Yeah, that fits perfectly. And then I have a Fox and Cactus order packing sticker with a Once More With Love pack order script. This is a very script heavy day. <laughs> so I literally just need to write in that I did listings. So I guess we're on to Friday. We are whizzing through this side of the week. So this is the exciting day, this is the red release day and I'm going to mark it with a movie marquee even though it isn't a movie, it's like the snazziest box option that I've got so that is for Red Taylor's version. Posted orders this day so I'm going to mark that with this like third box. I don't actually have a red coloured post order sticker but I do have a post box from the London kit so I thought that would be like a perfect way to mark that. And then I ordered some backdrops for photos from Capture by Lucy, I think the company is called. But these are like wipeable, flexible printed like laminate sheets. It's not like a fabric, it's but it's like a plasticky sheet. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but I wanted some different ones because this one is pretty grubby and old. So I marked that I ordered those. They're not like the cheapest. So <laughs> that was why I used an oops, Fox and Gatcha spending girl. I then edited the vlog. And I don't actually know where this sticker is from. It was in my reusable album, but it's a really cute edit sticker. So I have that. I went to Starbucks to get the Taylor's Latte, which is like the promotional red drink. All it is, is a skinny caramel latte. And when I went there, they didn't know what I was asking for. Cause I was like, do I just order the drink or do I try and order it in like the promotional way? So I tried to order it the promotional way and they didn't know what I was saying, which is fine because I think there was quite a bit of confusion about the promotion based on what I'd read online. So I just ordered it like normal, but I still enjoyed the whole experience. <laughs> I love when people do like fun promotional things like that. I don't know how to mark this. I wanted to mark that at midnight we watched the all too well 10 minute version, Taylor's version from the vault short film. I might have muddled up the order of that, but basically we watched the music video for all too well, which was amazing. I made Tom watch it with me, but we watched that at midnight when it released. It was midnight in the UK. So I've written it on a um, Club Gemini like movie ticket because there was space to write on it. So I thought I would put that in, even though it's yellow. Like I think it's, it's a cute way to mark it. And then finally, I wanted to mark that we watched some more of you. We're not on season three yet because Tom hasn't watched one or two. So we are also re-watching that. Well, I'm re-watching it. He's watching for the first time. And we have now finished season one. So we'll, we'll start season two like tonight or something. But yeah, enjoying watching that again. I've used so many of these Club Gemini rats. I think they just, because they're red and like I wouldn't normally use red that often. It's like a great excuse to get them out. Moving on to the weekend. I don't know if I want to use my weekend banner. Where is it? It's quite pretty. So I might put it on the bottom washi. Like here. 
we'll wait and see what I put here. Let me put a box down and I'll cover it. Yes, that looks cute. I like that. Okay, so that's my weekend banner. And then moving on to Saturday, I've got my date cover. I didn't say, but these numbers are from By Gem Designs. They're the transparent date dots, I think, in the larger size. I think she does the small size as well, but I've got the large ones. So Saturday, I spent a lot of the day working on the mystery. So I'm going to mark that with a flag. I remember when I used to mark work with a flag, like, all the time. I haven't done that in a while, but I do like using it with the munchkins. And then I mowed the lawn, which has needed mowing for <laughs> months. And, <laughs> and I have not found time where like, it's not rained and the ground isn't like dewy and I have time to do it. So like it's waiting for all those things to line up. And I don't really want a box that big, but it's quite a big sticker. This is from Catnip, unless I cut her. But then I would cut like the lawnmower off, which is the reason I've got the sticker. So I guess I'll just use a half box. But yeah, I was really glad that I finally got the lawn mode because you know when something's just like looming over you and <laughs> you feel like you're never actually going to get it done. That was me. Then I went to Costa and I got one of their festive paninis. It was really good. It was pigs under blankets, so instead of pigs in blankets. Um, and I also got a gingerbread latte, which is why I've used a Starbucks sticker because it's got a gingerbread man in it. <laughs> but yeah, I went to Costa, not Starbucks. Sorry, Starbucks. <laughs> I bought some Taylor Swift merch, so I'm gonna mark that with a Coffee Monsters Co. like money flying away sticker. I love these for like all things finance related. I just think they're really cute. And then I played some Stardew Valley with my friend Julia by Gem Designs and our boyfriends, so that was really fun. We want to schedule in time to play monthly so that we don't like forget about it, but it's so hard to find time where everyone is free. So I marked that with a Club Gemini rat, like on a console. Although I, I play on my laptop, so it's not quite the same, but it's a really cute sticker and I like that it's black. It kind of matches the darkness of the kit. And then finally, guess what I watched? It was more you. So final day of the week, Sunday. It was my godmother's birthday. So I've got like a little birthday cake from the kit that I'm just gonna put at the top on a box that matches it. I feel like it's getting a bit hard to see if they're straight now. I'm very grateful for the dotted lines in this planner because it helps me like line everything up when I can't see that well. I did some laundry. So I've got a fox and cactus like monochrome laundry power sticker. I don't have any red laundry stickers. That was what I was looking for. And they're all pink. Luckily the monochrome one works fine. And then I marked that I uploaded my YouTube video. That was the weekly vlog. And this is an upload script from Georgina the Librarian. Mm, unless I stick it here and write vlog, I think I'll do that. I did more cutting of the mystery kit this day. I feel like I was a bit late doing the mystery kit this month. Like they've shipped now, but I normally have it done a little bit earlier than this, so. There's a lot of frantic mystery work in the last portion of this week. I need some smaller stickers because I've got three more things to mark. These are quite small. We did go to Tom's grandma's house just briefly because he had to like help with some like technical computer thing. But we just went around and he fixed that. And then we came back and I packed some mystery orders. And then guess what the last thing we did was? We watched EU. <laughs> That's too big. I think I just want like three of those. But yeah, as I said, we finished you now. So we'll watch the second season soon. Um, we need to keep watching Dexter though. I don't like when things come out like weekly. I would rather just be able to binge it all, but I don't think I can avoid seeing spoilers for Dexter. Cause I have seen spoilers for you, which was a little bit annoying, <laughs> but I appreciate that I'm watching it a bit late. <laughs> so, oh well. Was I out of frame the whole time? I don't know, but my camera just died. So I'm back and figuring out how to cut this box. Uh. I don't want to cut the top of her head though, unless I just put her here. 
I guess if I put her here, I can fit you in still. Although I'm probably gonna have to cut this rat as well. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut like most of his popcorn box off. And that will have to do. That's the only problem using like little things is my characters are not sized for that because I tend to not use little things. But yeah, I'm just gonna write in all my stuff for Sunday. So that is my finished spread to mark the Red Taylor's version release. I think it looks so cute. I love the pops of red, especially because the kit doesn't have like too much bright red. I think it looks really good. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope my first plan with me in about two years wasn't as bad as I feel like it might have been. <laughs> But yeah, please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video, um, what other kind of planning videos you'd like to see from me. I'm hoping to do plan with me's hauls, maybe like kit lineups, but I don't normally plan what kits I'm going to use in enough advance to tell you like a whole month, but maybe I would try that. I could do like a sticker collection video, I could do how I organise my stickers once I've organised it because they are very much not organised right now. <laughs> but yeah, this was my finished spread. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, there's not really much to show you in terms of a wiggle. I do have my red headers, but I don't think they're showing up very well. Maybe you can see them better than I can. But yeah, that is everything. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!